Hi everybody on YouTube, this is my first electronics video and I will be showing something, a little thing I made called a light bulb limiter here it is there's two outlets here a switch and a neon bulb for power indication now what this device is used for is when you're repairing electronics it and you're gonna plug it in but it might have a short or something so you actually these are in series these outlets which will send if you're shorting one out the current will just go to the bulb so here I have a bulb let's turn it on and let's just plug it in here to one of these and here this goes into the wall And let me get something to short out the outlet to show you that this turns on if it's drawing too much power. So this is a 100 watt light bulb. Actually it has three modes, but I only have one mode outlet, so it's either 100 or 150. Um, and the bulb will usually not turn on if your <coughs> load is not drawing more than 150 watts. So for instance, I'm repairing an amp that I broke, and that draws 70 watts, 75. So under normal condition, the power will just go through the light, not lighting it up, and out to the amp right there. So, so I the power up and here's the indicator light. And the switch right there. Yeah. Turns it on and off. And so see the light is not on right now. But let's say something happens. There's a short. Now don't do this on a normal outlet. Because, yeah. And there goes the light. If I short it, the light turns on. So if you have a short in whatever you're repairing, then that this is necessary because it prevents damage to your equipment and possible explosions. So let's take a look at it. Unplug the power before you do anything with that. So, we have our switch right here, which feeds power directly, and we have the power coming in here. And the switch feeds power directly to this, and then it feeds it to these two in series, which are connected like that. So, it's a pretty simple circuit. It only took me about a, an hour to build. I just found a random box laying around. And I'm probably still going to have to put labels on top. So, just plug a, a light bulb more wattage than what your equipment's rated for. And you put your equipment here. And that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching.